Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture series on PLC programming. In today's video, I am going to explain example 17, program to stop the motor after 10 operations. In our previous video, we saw the concept of up counter and now in this particular video, I have taken this example because we will be able to understand how up counter can be utilized in order to stop the motor after 10 operations. So basically this is an illustration of an up counter. So that is why this program is taken into consideration. Let us look at the ladder diagram at the first place. So this is the ladder diagram that is required to stop the motor after 10 operations. But you might have a question in general as where is this actually applied? Why do we want to stop the motor after 10 operations? So in industries specifically, there might be a requirement where uh, you will have to remove or take the motor out for maintenance activities or uh, to apply oil for the bearings so through the process you will have to uh, ensure that the motor is stopped and uh, that is why this type of uh, programs are very very important in those applications so i hope application perspective is very clear now let us look at the working of this particular ladder diagram how do we analyze them so we've solved a number of examples i hope this would be pretty straightforward for you guys to start off with this but however let us start step by step and uh, we will apply ourselves with respect to the concept that we have studied so far at the first place in order to start the motor what should we do we have to start or press the push button switch over here isn't it before that one important thing to note is green indicates that it is acting as short circuit so that is why i have uh, indicated in this particular uh, Way where red indicates that it is acting as open circuit and it is not energized yet. So now once I press the push button switch in this particular fashion, the start button gets energized and consequently what happens? The run gets energized because three contacts are indicated in green and uh, the process is started. Consequently, the current is flowing from the source to the motor and the contact with respect to motor will get energized and the motor turns on in this particular fashion. If you carefully observe, the same address of this motor is used over here. So I have named it as motor, but in practical applications, you will be utilizing an address. So just for naming convention and for easier analysis, I have uh, taken the same labeling over here. So motor is used here. That means this contact is using the same address of this and this gets energized. And this is according to the concept of latching. So in case you haven't watched that video, please do watch it you will get a fair amount of understanding of what latching is all about. Now, if you carefully observe, the same contact is used over here as well, isn't it? So as a result, this contact gets energized. Consequently, the run gets energized. The up counter gets energized. And according to the working of up counter, what happens is once the up counter is energized, instantly the counter enable bit will go to high state, isn't it? So as a result, this is indicated in green over here and now the counter has counted one value that means the accumulated value is equal to one now and it should reach the preset value in order to have that done bit to go to high state now what happens is at some point in time you have to stop the process by pressing the stop push button and the motor will stop and again this will be de-energized and the up counter will be de-energized again you will have to start the process so like this you will have to keep doing so every time you start the process it will count it will be two it will go to three and then this keeps on counting in a sequential manner up to 10 and uh, that is why it is called as up counter so it is starting from zero and it is going till 10 that is in the incrementing fashion and once a count of 10 is reached that is the accumulated value is equal to 10 now and the preset value is also equal to 10 and when these two are equal the done bit goes to high state so what happens when done bit is going to high state if you carefully observe over here a normally closed contact is used that means when this goes to high this will go to low isn't it as a result if you carefully observe when this is open circuit it does not allow current to flow through this path isn't it because it is acting as open circuit at this point hence the supply will be cut off to the motor as a result the entire rung will get de-energized the motor will get de-energized and the motor will stop after 10 operations that is exactly according to our requirement isn't it so this again goes to low state this will go to low state and the up counter also will be going to low state and uh, the process has to be started again 
and you also have to provide a provision for the reset button this is very very important uh, so at times you might have to stop the process uh, for some reasons in the industries so this is always uh, a button that is required so that the counter can be reset and the process can be repeated again so very very important observation over here so this is how we will be stopping the motor after 10 operations using an up counter. I hope this uh, ladder logic program was clear to you. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below. If you like this video, please do like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching this video. Meet you guys in another video. Thank you.